Hello and welcome to video 4 in the Index Laws video series. This is uh, talking about power indices. Power indices are sometimes called power of a power. They involve a term that's already got a power to it, like n to the 3, that uh, is getting put to another power, what I'd call an outside power. So we would say that this is m n cubed squared. So interesting. Our rule is that we multiply the indices together. So it's 3 times 2 makes our 6 there. And I want to show you in expanded form just like we did with the multiplying and dividing just to show you that this rule actually works and makes sense mathematically. So uh, when we have n, n cubed squared, anything that gets squared multipl is multiplying by itself. So that would mean n cubed is multiplying by itself. So I've written it out here. Now if we apply the normal multiply multiplication rules for indices, what do we do with the indices? We add the indices. So if we think of it in that way, uh, this boils down to uh, n cubed times n cubed following the normal multiplying rule in which you add the indices. 3 plus 3 gives us the 6 there. So interesting, the uh, power of a power situation at the top here has uh, ended up being very similar to the rule we already saw in a previous video where we are adding the indices if the indices are multiplying. Okay, just as uh, in the other videos, we'll just check out what happens when there's a number in the front. This is a little bit trickier here. We have a 4 in the brackets. Now, anything in the brackets is being put to the power of 2. So we have to take that into account. If the 4 is getting put to the power of 2 as well, then um, I think you can see that a 4 squared will be part of our calculations. So we get 16 for that front bit because we are putting the front number, the 4, to the outside power. And as you know, 4 squared is 16. So that's how we got 16. We put that front number 4 to that outside power, 4 to the power of 2 or 4 squared, 4 times 4, 16. And then the rest of it is just following the normal rule that we just saw. So we will multiply the indices there. Quite interesting. We'll uh, just check out why that happens from the other angle whereby something that's being squared should be uh, boiled down to whatever is being squared multiplying by itself. So that means 4n cubed times itself, 4n cubed. Now 4 times 4 is 16 as we could normally see. And uh, if we, if we uh, incorporate the addition, addition rule for indices when we are multiplying the indices, the indices just get added to make the 6. So in two different ways I guess we've illustrated that um, this ex original expression boils down to 16n to the power of 6. So the front number gets put to that outside power and the indices multiply with each other. Some interesting rules there, sometimes quite tricky. But in the end we have three rules. When we are multiplying, let's just summarize. When we are multiplying terms with indices, we add the indices. When we are dividing terms with indices, we subtract the indices. And we, when we have a power of a power, we multiply the indices. So that, in the end, uh, they're, they're just pretty much the three index laws. And I hope these videos have helped you summarize your ideas there. Thanks for watching. All the best in your studies. Watch the videos over and over until it all sinks in. Thanks a lot. Bye.